The Vikings coming off a 28-12 win over the Falcons on Sunday, thanks in large part to Adam Thielen, who got the scoring started with a first quarter touchdown. And we welcome in the star wide receiver now. Adam, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Hey, there's no better way to start the season off than a win and the way you guys did it over a good team in the Falcons. How good did that feel? How important was that for the organization? Yeah, it feels good. Like you said, uh, you know, it's a great start, obviously. Uh, you go through training camp, you go through OTAs, and, and you do all that, and, and you're just kind of preparing for that week one, and, and it's a, a long process. So it felt good to be back out there with our teammates and uh, kind of show what we can do a little bit. But uh, we have a long ways to go, and uh, now we're focused on Green Bay. Adam, I'm so glad to have you on the show. You always know that you're one of my favorites and everything. You're a great example of hard work, discipline, and it being paid off. We got a lot of diva wide receiver news going around the league. I'm so glad that my Vikings receivers aren't involved in that. I'm so glad AB's not there. Now, I know Diggs got a little diva in him. Now, Diggs told me on the slot, Where are we hey, going? hey, this guy right here, he got a little in him, but not as much as myself. Are you and Diggs going to be wearing a watch this weekend? Because my partner over here has been telling people all morning, it's okay to wear a watch. It's okay. It's, it, it's okay. Will you have on a watch when you go to Lambeau this Field guy. this weekend? Well, well, Diggs actually holds me back from being too big of a diva, so he, he's got my back on that. But uh, uh, I don't know. It depends on, uh, depends on what company is going to uh, promote us and uh, give us a good watch to wear. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. That is a great answer. And now I'm going to get to the football. Great job, Adam Thielen. All right, it's, it's not very often you can have 43 receiving yards, and that's nearly half your team's receiving yards, and you guys win going away. I thought I was watching Chris's old Ohio State Buckeyes. We're going to throw the ball 8 to 10 times and just grind it out. It was a very different game for you guys. Great game because of how you dominated time possession, how you dominated the how you dominated the Falcons throughout. How different was the start of this season to when you think the beginning of last year when you guys aired it out as much as any team in football? And tell me about that approach going into the year. Yeah, it's a lot different, but at the same time, uh, you know, for us, we don't really care. As long as we're winning ball games, uh, it doesn't matter how we get it done. You know, we're going to have games like this where you have a ton of rushing attempts and, uh, and, and you're able to run the ball efficiently, so you don't need to pass. But uh, there'll be other games where we'll have to throw the ball to win. Uh, we'll have to convert key third downs, and we'll have to, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll have a tough time running the ball. So teams are going to key on our run game when, when you have an explosive guy like Delvin back there. Um, and, and that's when we have to make sure that we're prepared and, and ready to make plays in, in the passing game. How much will you guys actually lean on him now that he's healthy moving forward? Well, I mean, you, you saw it on Sunday. I mean, uh, he, he's such an explosive player. He's such a, a great teammate, and, and uh, he can do so many things. He not only is a great running back, uh, but he can also uh, you know, spread out, and he can catch the football as well. So uh, we're very fortunate he's on our team, and, and there's no doubt we're going to uh, ride his coattail. We're going to be... Um, we're going to be, you know, keying heavily on, on him and, and relying on him to, to help this team uh, get to where we want to be. Uh, Thielen, as a Vikings fan, I'm very, very fortunate. Last season, you guys ellipsed 100 catches, first time in Vikings team history. And, man, them records up there for the Vikings, they're hard to break. They've had some pretty good receivers. What are you and Diggs talking about going into this year that would allow the team, we know they want to run the ball, but how you guys would play to improve to get you back into the playoff hunt? Yeah, you know, I think uh, uh, Diggs and I have mindsets always been very similar, and uh, we talk about it a lot. Uh, we're going to come out here. We're going to do our best. Uh, whatever play is called, we're going to go win. And we, even if we know we're not getting the ball, we're going to go show that we can get open um, and that, that, that we're open on every play. So the coaches, uh, the quarterback, um, you know, our team has confidence that, that if, if we do need to throw it, um, that we'll be open and that we'll be ready. So uh, that's kind of our mindset. We're going to go try to win on every rep and, and, uh, and prove that, that we can do that at a high level every week in and week out. All right, a couple things about this weekend's game against the Green Bay Packers. First of all, Chris has said, when you play for the Vikings, when you get the schedule, one of the first things you're looking at is, what month are we playing in Green Bay? So I'm sure a bit of a relief for you that it's early as opposed to late. But maybe more importantly, they're on national TV to start the season, so they get a few extra days to prepare for you guys. And you have to have seen a drastically new and improved Packers defense as opposed to what we've seen in recent years. Your thoughts on the challenges the Packers can propose from a defensive perspective this season? 
Yeah, it's a, it's a totally different look um, than they, they've had the past few years. Um, they have guys on the outside that are aggressive. Um, they have a lot of guys mixing in that they kind of keep them um, fresh and healthy. And uh, they have some veterans, too, that, that uh, have played a lot of football. So they understand the game. They understand um, route concepts, things like that. So um, they, they have a lot of guys that have a lot of experience in this league. And, and it's going to be a, a good challenge for us. So we're excited about that. Um, we know that it's going to be uh, – there's no easy games in this league, and especially when you're playing Aaron Rodgers and, and obviously, like you said, a new and improved defense. So it um, should be a good challenge for us, and we're excited to start preparing for that. No easy games and no easy teams in your division. The NFC North is a good competitive division this year. Who do you guys see as your biggest challenger? Do you think it's the Packers? Is, is it the Bears? Who do you guys look at as your biggest challenge? Yeah, we were talking about that uh, the other day, just, uh, you know, watching some of these games. Uh, we were able to pretty much watch all the teams in our division uh, because they played at different times. So um, there's, there's some really good football players and, and some really good teams in our division. And, and I, 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 don't, I can't, you know, it's week one. You can't really say who's the best. Uh, but we know we're going to have a challenge week in and week out, and we got to play those guys twice, each, uh, each team twice. So uh, we know we're going to have a challenge. We know that we are prepared, and we know that how important these uh, divisional games are. Well, Adam, you know this. Um, I'm jealous of you for several reasons. Uh, one, you're playing with my favorite team. Number two, if I come back for one game, I got to play in U.S. Bank Stadium. Number three, man, that type of money that the wide receivers are making. <laughs> but by the way, that, that's no, no big deal. But my favorite place to play, if it wasn't U.S. Bank Stadium, would be in Lambeau Field. Explain the sports fans what you're getting ready to experience Sunday when you play the pack in, in Lambeau. Yeah, there's no doubt. Anytime somebody asks me, you know, where's my favorite place to play other than U.S. Bank, uh, it's definitely Lambeau. I mean, uh, there's really nothing like it. Um, it's not necessarily how loud it is because it's not the loudest stadium, uh, but I think it's just the the feel. You know, it feels like football. You know, there there's uh, uh, bleachers in the stands. Like, what NFL stadium has bleachers? And you know, like as far as like advertisements, there's not a whole lot of advertisements. Pretty much everything is green and gold. So. Uh, it's a very unique place. Uh, it's a very cool place and, and uh, a very fun atmosphere as a, as a football player to play in. You guys had such a potent rushing attack on Sunday that Kirk Cousins got in on the action. Six carries for four yards, not a very impressive average. However, a very impressive touchdown and touchdown celebration from Kirk Cousins. And you are prominently featured in this. Can you walk me through what we're seeing here and the inspiration and the, the choreography that went into this? Adam? Don't hold back, Adam. Give us details. <laughs> well... I, Kirk is like very intrigued by uh, our dance moves, uh, mostly digs, but uh, you know we all kind of mix in some that that we like, and uh, so he gets very intrigued and he wants to learn them, and then wants to do them on the field. So I was a little caught off guard that he was going to pull it off week one, but um, it, it was a good dance. He pulled it off, and uh, but that was that was uh, all credit to Diggs. That was his dance move. I, I see your rookie centers coming in there, and then he sees you guys dance, and he's like, "No, We're I'm going to sit out on this one." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got to keep him up to pace because uh, I, I don't think he's uh, ready for what he's, uh, what he's in for as far as our celebrations go. All right, Adam, we thank you so much for joining us. All the best of luck to you this weekend with the Packers and for the rest of the season and for getting up early to spend some time with Thanks us. Thanks for being a class act, the difference between class and... Hey, man, I'm going to send you one of them watches, Adam. <laughs> but if the NFL tells you not to wear it, you probably uh, just wear thank it. Thank you so much, Adam. Appreciate it. All right, thanks, guys.